Hey guys, the Super Ants here, and today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions of Guild Wars 2. I know the game's been out a while now, but somebody kindly offered me a trial this past weekend, so I decided to try the game out. I must say the game has always intrigued me, but as I'm not the biggest MMO player, I didn't want to buy it without trying it out first. After playing it for several days now, I'm sharing my first impressions of Guild Wars 2. Just one thing, this isn't a review, just my initial thoughts and opinions about the game. MMOs aren't usually regarded based on their story, and they aren't a major factor of why people play MMOs, but Guild Wars 2 tries to have a great single player story while still having a lot to do outside of it. In Guild Wars 2, the personal storyline is progressed by completing missions and quests, which can only be played alone by entering the specific areas called instances. In these areas, you are the only real player, so you have to complete the objectives alone. What's interesting to me is how each race has their own personal story, which is different and unique to that race. This adds a lot of replayability with each new character you want to make, plus the game gives you a lot of choice over your character's backstory upon creation. The first thing that I thought when playing for the first time was how much depth there is to this game. The MMOs I've played in the past didn't feel as vast as how Guild Wars 2 feels. There are tons of side quests to take part in and I like how the game implements the dynamic event system. The dynamic event system makes the game's world feel alive. In other MMOs, the areas of the map would just be players grinding on enemies. Whereas in Guild Wars 2, you can be venturing into a city or settlement and a dynamic event can pop up nearby, where you have to fight a several waves of enemies that are attacking a farm or even beat a strong mini-boss style enemy. There is a lot of diversity in these dynamic events. The gameplay outside the core mechanics are quite deep as well. Crafting is split up into multiple types, not just weapons and armors, but there are subcategories which really expand the game. Regarding the game's combat, I haven't really fully grasped the basics yet. I know there's combos that you can perform by choosing specific attacks in a specific order, but I can't seem to pull off the same combo at will just yet. The choice of attacks you have seems to be locked and they just progress more times you use that attack. But overall the combat feels satisfying and unique from other MMOs. Lastly I want to talk about the score. The music in the game is brilliant and I love it. It reminds me of games like Final Fantasy IX or Final Fantasy XII or Oblivion and the music's very well composed. As a big film fan, I really value good music in games, and here in Guild Wars 2, they have really created a great score. To wrap up this video, I just want to say the game is so deep, it has a lot to offer, and it's very great value for money. I would recommend it to anyone who likes RPGs or MMOs. Overall, yes, I would recommend it trying it out if you get the chance, or even picking it up or watching some more videos on YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you soon.